It's a clean slate and everybody's starting from scratch. We're trying to find 22 new starters and it's an exciting time here. But what I've seen on film, we're going to be the exact antithesis of what they've done before. Um, we're going to be a, a shotgun, spread, fast, no huddle offense, giving the defense multiple looks, uh, multiple things to worry about. We're going to be a fast, exciting offense to watch. I definitely love the offensive scheme. I like the faster pace in the offense and uh, I think we'll get a lot of things done this year. Uh, defensively, we're going to mix things up a little bit more. We're going to run a 4-2-5 now, kind of like Alabama's defense, but we're going to give you multiple looks in the front, multiple looks in the back, and we're getting an exciting attacking defense. So when you come watch on Yata on Friday nights, you're going to get your money's worth. I, wanna, I don't like to say it as rebuilding, I like to say it as like reloading, and um, we have real big expectations this year with Coach Valise. <laughs> The goal for us is just to get better each week and, and um, you know, play at our ability level, play as, as good as we can with the kids that we have. Um, you know, for our guys to really kind of form a brotherhood, we always talk a lot about that. But the biggest thing is we, we just need to get better every week. Uh, I went to a lot of football camps and I just improved my fundamentals, tackling, uh, I worked a lot of tight end and blocking and stuff also. So we, we've got some guys that, that have experience that we really need them to step up and we need some of the other guys to kind of follow through too. Um, it's a process of just improving on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, I just think just moving forward you're always looking to just play your best and hopefully that means we get to play the last game of the season. We, we want to dominate in Las Cruces. We want to win some games early on. We play uh, one of the best teams in the state. And so we're going to really find out what we're made of. And we're going to grow up. And I think this, this next week uh, with Roswell and, and Clovis is going to help us. I mean, uh, coming back from that uh, previous season, we're just looking to move forward in any way we can. I mean, we have returners that benefit on both sides of the ball. Even our receiving core is uh, very experienced, very talented, fundamentally sound and that's our premise of the team like we expect both sides of the ball to be fundamentally sound and exquisite on both sides of the ball yeah mostly i've been hitting the weight room uh trying to get my squat up my power clean uh, i accomplished both of those as long as the other linemen we all went up in our uh, squats and power cleans uh, our skilled players have been working on their 40 times their speed their agility and it's coming together as one we can see it in practice uh, we're, cl we're clicking now. The sky's the limit. I, I never uh, uh, set a limit on what we can and can't do, and, and usually our kids really surprise us. So there's a lot of hunger in the, in the locker room. There's a lot of hunger in the program. We do everything as we always do, day by day, week by week, game by game, and so that won't change uh, no matter what that happened the year before. I think anybody that's been around long enough knows that uh, you're going to go as far as those big boys up front take you, you know. Um, if if we've got, we lost, of course, a lot of quality seniors on the line, both offensively and defensively, but we feel like we got some pretty good guys coming up. Um, obviously, you know, it's nice to have those guys on the back end, you know. Those guys know what they're doing. They're big-time playmakers for us. Um, so those big guys up front don't have to be dominant. They, they need to do their job. They need to do a good, solid job in what they're doing and then let our playmakers be playmakers. This court group, this uh, senior group now, they're, they're good athletes, good people, so I think, you know, it would be tremendous if we went out on a state championship.